So we are back at Skyway Yacht Works. Moment of truth right here. Okay, let's back up here. How did our boat end up in slings, back at the same yard we just left when we were supposed to be on our way down the river? Here we are in our last episode, getting through our first lock on the Calumet River. And then, with only a few feet to go to reach the marina where we planned to spend the night, the boat just stopped. Hey, love. Yeah. What the heck is happening at the moment? <laughs> <laughs> we're having our first boat moment. <laughs> I don't know, is that what you call it? Yeah. She's breaking on a boat moment? Yeah. Cruising, intro to cruising life here. Yeah. Uh, we unstepped our mast yesterday and our center board line runs through the mast. So we read that you have to wrap a line around the hull of the boat to hold the center board up, which we did and snugged it up but we didn't leave any of the centerboard down, so we started motoring again and the line just slipped right off and our centerboard went down. So last night when we hit bottom, we had an inkling this is what happened. We tried to do some recon to confirm the board was down. It was incredibly murky and the light we were shining was just reflecting off debris in the water. On our second try, we got wise putting the light on one side of the boat and the GoPro on the other. Instead of drafting four feet in a few inches, we were drafting almost eight. Before continuing down the river, we had to get the board back up. This was the mass plug we created to run the centerboard pennant back up to the deck. This piece of crap that didn't fit was jerry-rigged, was held together with PVC cement and life caulk. In a rush to prep the boat for the mast unstepping, when it came time to finish this thing and try it out, it didn't work. The plug was too small and the weight of the centerboard kept popping it out of the partners. Because we had already stayed as long as we could at the yard, we decided to tackle rebuilding the mass plug at our next stop. We thought we'd be fine, but clearly not. Okay, so the other thing you might be wondering is, if you know the board is down, why don't you just pull it up? We tried. The pennant wasn't budging. We're less than 24 hours into our motor south, and we had already run aground. We already stayed overnight at a lock we weren't supposed to. <laughs> We're already backtracking, and we have to go and find ways to get to get all of the parts that we need without a car, without transportation, and beg, borrow, and well, we probably won't steal stuff, but yeah. get everything we need to fix everything and start heading south again. So we are now headed north, which is the wrong way. But thankfully, but there was absolutely no boat traffic and dead calm all night, so. We actually got some sleep. Yeah. But the I, lock's opening now. really nice seven hours, I think. Look, look at the water come rushing out of there. Mm. You see the difference in height? It's kind of crazy. I can see about a foot difference in height where it's rushing down. Mm. I don't have the telephoto on. It's pretty hard to sleep. Yeah. All right, we should get ready, though. Alrighty. Um, can you switch us over to two? Mm-hmm. And take that.
We motored right past Skyway over to Crowley's to see if we could get some hardware for a new mass plug. Is there anything that I can buy or borrow? <laughs> can I get two by six or two? A little short okay. piece. Uh, well, I just, so my mast is, you know, just to cover the, the mast face. So it doesn't need to be long. Our center board fell down. Um, and then our line got snagged and now we can't move it. So it's stuck all the way down and we're drafting like eight feet. What's your draft going down or what do you need to do? A lot less than that. We only draft four foot with it up. We showed up right as the shipping company, Albert Logistics, was loading up all the mass. Believe it or not, at that very moment, our mass was being lifted onto the truck. It made me really happy to be able to see our masks being loaded. You could tell they were taking good care of our precious cargo. That's our mast! Awesome! You know. Cool! I'm meeting there Albert from Albert Logistics. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. There you go. Thank you so much. I appreciate your care. Take care. So we are back at Skyway Yacht Works. After going thinking we were on our way south. Um, we're back at this yard because they were the only place that had a deep enough depth next to their dock that we could get our boat in um, with our center board being down. <sighs> um, yes. I don't know where to start with these guys. They have been absolutely wonderful. Um, they let us stay overnight at their dock. Um, while we prepped our masks ourselves. They let us hook up to their electricity. They let us change the date that we're arriving. We called him up again this morning, telling him about our problem. The guy, I think Mark was his name, he's like, oh yeah, come on up, we'll, we'll let Steve know that you're coming and we'll have space for you. <laughs> like, it's the busiest time of the season and they're pulling like a dozen boats out of the water a day and we got a little spot on the dock here so that um, we can try to fix this problem with our center board. We went up to Crowley's. The rigging master there, I, I don't know his name, but we told him our problem and he was like, oh yeah, I think I've got some blocks for you. And we're like, we need some wood too. And he's like, oh yeah, I got some wood for you. <laughs> Which just, just gave us all the stuff. And it's been going pretty well so far. This is a really nice saw. Let's hope that fits in there almost perfectly. It'll be close. Okay, we're gonna sand these if this doesn't work now. Okay. We're very close. You wanna go down there? Catch them? Yes. Okay. Kidding. Still not? <laughs> Seems like it fits worse and worse each time. <laughs> and then we're, we're gonna line up the next one. Okay. Okay, can you go down and trace that? Oh, look at that. That is perfect. Exactly where we want it. So we've got two pieces of, I don't know what this is, three quarter inch ply that go inside the mast plug. Uh, one that sits on top. We've got a hole through the center. Got a little penis thing here. Oh, so well. so oh, that well, our, wheel. our wheel can go spin freely. The centerboard pennant will come up through here, go over this exit sheave, and then out to our deck organizers into our centerboard winch. And we're hoping that this 
crappy, worthless screws we've got here are gonna hold it. And our free, new to us, exit sheave is not too janky. Because it needs to pull up a 200 pound centerboard. Yes. I only have five screws, is there one in the... Well, let's hope so. Moment of truth, right here. We were really hoping that with a more robust mass plug fitted with an exit sheave, we would be able to pull the board up. This wasn't a good sign. The line wasn't lifting the board, it was only getting more taut. Kirk proposed one last ditch effort. Let's take these lines off again. Okay. And let's uh, run it back from the bow and just make sure we're on the board. And then let's just try and give it a little jiggle. Okay. But the line didn't appear to be moving and we couldn't see anything underwater. At this point, we didn't have much choice other than to haul out. I want to make sure I at least get a, a power one. <laughs> All right. Thank you. 
Can you just go right back here unless you're out of here? We are. You're out of here. Go pick up all our stuff. Oh, good, okay. Leave the jigsaw. All right. So, we are underway through the industrial, I don't know, armpit of America. Really terrible smells every 10 minutes. Something new, electric, chemical, just garbage, all sorts of nasty stuff. We spent the last, I don't know, four days here. Spent all day building this. <laughs> this is version one. And this, Bad boy is version two. So hopefully that gets us all the way down to Mobile. So we spent all day building that and we rigged it all up and the board was still stuck. So we got the boat in the air, saw the center board was hanging forward at about 45 degrees. It ended up being a very easy fix. It wasn't stuck in there very hard at all. Um, we pulled the center board forward a little bit and then we could easily get the line back up and all was set. We were in the air for about, I don't know, five minutes and it was fixed. So here's hoping we don't have to deal with that again, but I think if we do, I've got a better idea of how we can fix things now. I think if it, if it gets stuck and we can figure out if it's all the way forward, we actually just need to loosen everything up. And if we're in a spot that we can get in the water, it's a very easy fix. If we can't get in the water, it's a little bit more tricky, but we might be able to get a boat hook on it and pull the line back or something and, and get us resorted so we'll see fingers crossed we don't have to go through that again though well 24 hours later we're back 10 feet closer to the dock tied to the dock than we got last night another beautiful night with a beautiful sunset and uh hopefully this time we can continue south but check this out It's gonna be hard to see, but there's about a thousand foot long barge and tow that are pulling into the lock right now. And if we were docked there, like we were last night, we would have been absolutely crushed. We were so lucky last night that it was dead calm and nobody came by. Thank our lucky stars.